Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now. Thank you for your patience. This is for Virgo, August 1st through the 15th. This is intended to be a love reading. What do you have for love for Virgo? Courage. Yeah. Looks like you need to have some courage or you're starting to have some courage at the beginning of August. You finally decided, you know, that you can do something. You can make a change, you know. Um, and there may be a little bit of challenges, but you have the courage, the confidence, and the knowledge to um, get through something. This is August 1st. keep going before I say anything else. You still are letting yourself feel trapped. It's kind of almost like you're playing the victim, but you're not playing the victim, but kind of. It's like you feel like you're trapped, but you're not really trapped, okay? You're just, you... It's time for you to rise, okay? It's time for you to take a stand. It's time for you to um, make a move. All right, Unfre free yourself from whatever it is that's holding you back, okay? Universe sees this, so the universe is going to help you with this, all right? You may, this is the first week of August, you may all of a sudden get something might happen that makes you stand up, makes you stand up, makes you really pull out that courage that you need to have, that you do have. You pull it back out and perhaps you free yourself from something finally, Okay, this decision could happen very quickly, all right? Oh, goodness. So it looks like you, um, it's a time of surrendering, all right? It's a time of letting go, just, you know, going with the flow. And I know that's really hard for you, but it is. It's a time for you to surrender and just let things happen, Um Surrender the need to be protect yourself, okay? It seems like you're constantly trying to protect yourself. You know, you need you need to release the fear that you have inside, um, and you need to do something. You need to take action, all right? It affects your happily ever after, all right? There could be a split on the horizon if you haven't done it already. Um, this tower up here the first week of August, it definitely affects your home life, all right? It affects your comfortable, happy home life, and it's going to cause you to really rethink things, okay? And think about what you really need to let go. Okay, and you might surrender to the universe. The universe, that's what they want you to do. You might surrender to it and really, you know, it's kind of like a reality check where all of a sudden you have to live in reality. Um, and you have to take a stand because that's what reality says that you have to do. All right, perhaps um, something needs to go away. All right, you need to listen to your yourself. You need to follow your own path. You need to believe in yourself. You need to remove whatever is blocking you. 
whatever is, you know, something is blocking you and you need to remove it. Um... I see that you've been depressed, all right? You've had some depression. You've Maybe you've had, you know, you've been um, looking for ways to escape. You have. You've been looking for ways to escape you're, you, wherever you're trapped, but you haven't really taken the action. You've been thinking about it. How can I escape this? How can I escape this? You know, but you're pretending. I mean, it's like it's like a duality. That's for damn sure. One minute you want to escape, and the next minute you're like, hey, I'm not sure if I can do this. I don't want to face this right now. You know, I really don't want to deal with this right now. Let's just pretend that nothing's wrong. The fact of the matter is, something is wrong. Okay? Perhaps one of these persons is blocking you from finding the right partner. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Capricorn. It can be any other sign that has a lot of water in their chart. It could be a uh, fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It looks like somebody is blocking you. Okay? And it is time for you to stop pretending that that is happening. Okay, it's time for you to have some courage and stand up. And the universe is going to make you um, realize something. They're going to give you the reality check that you need. Okay, this is, the, this is August 1st to the 15th. This is a love reading. True love is here. Okay, a beautiful union is here. But I think that you... Someone's blocking that from happening. Perhaps you're still in a relationship that you want to escape from, but, you know, you're worried about your stability. You're worried about your finances. You're worried about, can you do this by yourself or what will the next person be? I mean, reality is really a problem for you at this point, okay? You're scared, all right? Um, let's get some more cards. I know that you want this true love. I can see that you've been thinking about it and you really, really want it, but you just can't break away from somebody. You can't. But the universe wants to help you with this. They do. I think that during these uh, August 1st through the 15th, something is going to happen that's going to cause you to take a stand. Okay? And it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause you to stop pretending that there's no problem. It's going to cause you to follow your own path, to believe in yourself. Okay, and to remove whatever is blocking you, all right? Whatever is blocking you from having this um, union with whoever it is. Um, I see that there's going to be that... There's, you are going to be happy in the end. You are. Once this reality check comes in, and a reality check is coming in, just so you know. Once it comes in, you know, you're going to, there's, the end is here. Okay, the end of this need to escape is here. Um, somebody from the past. New welling of emotion. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. New love is here for you. They are. It's probably somebody from the past. It is. But you're still stuck. You know, you have to deal with your current situation to get to this love with somebody. Probably, it could be a past life. could be um, a past relationship. Either way, there's a new welling of emotion. Absolutely, 100% new love is on the way. Okay, but you have to follow your own path to, to, to find this person or to let them in. You have to untrap yourself from whatever it is that's trapping you. Reality has to um, become real, all right? You cannot pretend. You cannot pretend that there's not a problem in your current situation because there is, all right? New love wants to come. The universe is trying to give it to you. At the bottom of this deck is strength. That is your advice. It is going to take strength. Okay. 
It is. It's going to take a lot of strength. It's going to take, it's not going to be easy. There's going to be challenges, but you have what it takes to get through it. There is no doubt about it. All right. Let's get some clarifiers for Virgo. You're just not really into dealing with it right now. I mean, you just, that's the problem. You need to have some courage, honey. Get the courage to deal with this, please. Okay, are you going to pretend that everything is okay forever and just let your life go by? All right. Do you want this person from the past? Could be a past life. Do you want this person who can offer you all this love? I mean, it's love, 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 real love. But it's you're not getting it. You're not getting it because you still haven't um, escaped from the past, escaped from whatever's blocking it from happening. All right. You've been pretending that there's no problem or there is a problem. You know there's a problem. You really can't pretend. Or you've been pretending that it's going to go away or it's going to dissolve itself and that you really don't have to take action. Fact of the matter is the universe is going to help you take some action whether you like it or not. And it could happen very quickly. And you are going to need courage. You have courage a couple times. You're going to need some courage to get through this. Do you have it? Where the hell is your courage anyway? I mean, where is it? Did you lose it a long time ago? You know, you have the potential for a, a lot of love. <laughs> you do. A lot of love. That's It's all up to you. When you're ready to make a stand, stand up, make a stand. <laughs> Escape from whatever it is that's holding you back. Yeah, new love is right here, ready for you. There you are. We needed to see you in this reading, so that's what it is. Spend time in quiet meditation, absolutely, okay? Spiritual teaching, self-discovery, it is time. It is time to you for you to rediscover yourself. I just asked you about your courage. Where the hell is your courage? Because we needed some more love here. There's love coming. Do you want it? Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Maybe if you're in a relationship and you don't want to get out of it, it's time to have some courage and have a, a conversation with somebody. And say, you know, what is going on? Are we going to make it? Maybe, I mean, what? how, how are we going to handle this? Maybe you need to communicate. If you're single, I see a brand new relationship coming in. And frankly, if you're coupled, I see, I think there's strife in the relationship. Okay, there could have been even some cheating, just saying. There could have been some cheating. And um, now you're just trying to pretend that there's no problems fact of the matter is there is problems and you need to have the courage to discuss it and take a stand and face reality because this is a new partner right here a new discovery yes new discovery a lot of new discovery here but you're still fucking trapped an exciting new opportunity this is a new sexual partner okay change your life now that's what it says Change your life now. Get your ass moving. Do you want love or do you want to pretend and be stuck? This is August 1st through the 15th. Look at that. More fucking love. Oh my God. Major completions for you. Okay. You're about to start something brand new. 
There's no doubt about it. The tower is helping you with this. This major life experience is coming in because they want you to end this. Whatever strife you're going through in your current relationship, they want it to be over with. And they want to bring you new love. They want to bring you happily ever after. Contentment, joy, um, comfortableness, um, happiness. They want to bring it to you. They're going to bring it to you because they're going to bring you the courage that you need. Might be a little bit scary at first. Something's going to happen that is going to scare you maybe a little bit. But it's going to lead you in the right direction. You're going to pull out your courage that you lost so fucking long ago. Excuse my language. You guys seem to get be getting my F-bombs. <laughs> Sorry. Reality check. Reality check. Reality check. Time to face reality. Actually, I don't know why I'm shuffling these. I'll do one more. I was going to do the other one. Oh, you're still fucking stuck. I'm sorry about the swearing. Apparently, it's for you. Just so you know, whenever I hit record on the on the um, camera, the video camera, this reading is for you. Whatever comes in, whatever comes out of my mouth, whether it's about my personal life or whatnot, is meant for you. The, the spirits know at this point that you are listening to them. If And that's their chance to give you the message. So this may not resonate with everybody. If it, Some of it will. Some of it won't. It's meant for hundreds and thousands or whatever people. Okay, so some of it may resonate with you and some of it may resume, resonate with the next person. The other part of it might not resonate at all. Okay, because there's so many messages coming in right here. So please keep that in consideration when you say, This didn't resonate with me. Okay, fine. Wasn't meant to. Okay. Um, things are going to happen very, very quickly. All right. Very, very, very quickly. The universe is going <laughs> to light the fire. They're going to light the fire and you are going to have to put it out. That's a reality check, isn't it? Going to happen fast. Delays are over. It's time for you to make a change. It's time for you to remove whatever's blocking you. And it is time for you to put yourself first and to believe in yourself. Okay? It is. Listen to yourself. Follow yourself. Do what's right for you. Not what's right for anybody else. The worst is over, just so you know. Well, it's not over yet. It's going to be. Okay, so up here we have this shock, and then the worst is over. So, um, yeah, you're going to have to have some courage. Maybe you need to look it up. See see how you're going to get that. Look up courage. Look up the definition of courage. If you don't know what it is. Or you've forgotten. I mean, you've forgotten. You can't pretend that there's no problem. There is. Or you can't pretend that you don't want somebody else or you don't want this person. I see that you do. Oh, son of a bitch. Somebody from the past, there is no doubt about it. And I'm not talking the last six months, honey. Okay? This is somebody from the way past. Way, 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 way. Way. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Believe it. Could be a past life. We have the past life. But I think um, it's somebody from this life. I do. Someone from your past is returning to your life. They're right. It's right over you. Could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, could be a fire sign as well. Um, and I think you've been thinking about this person from the past. I do. This is a problem. This is why you have this is why you don't have the courage. This is why you feel trapped. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You're scared. I already talked about this at the beginning of the reading. Don't be. Don't be scared. Okay? There's nothing to be worried about, all right? Um nothing at all. You have this 10 of pentacles. Material abundance, okay? A very happy family life. Nothing to worry about financially. You have got this, all right? You are very stable. You are very grounded. You are very confident. You're practical. You're responsible. 
Nothing to worry about. That's a cop-out. If you are staying stuck somewhere because of this, it's a fucking cop-out. All right, here we go. This is a good one for you. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you better get working on that, huh? You experience more love in your present moments. Get rid of the past so that new love can come because it is right here. And the universe is going to help you with this. During August 1st through the 15th, the universe is on your side. Um, yeah, so Virgo, that is what I have for you. I wish you the best of luck. Luck. I'm sorry about the F-bombs. You're the first one. You're my fourth reading in this segment, and I haven't had this problem. So it really, definitely, positively is time for a reality check. You can't keep pretending. It is time to make a stand and change your life right now. That's what I have. Thank you to all my subscribers, likes, watch, watches, comments, bookings, you know, the whole nine yards. I really appreciate that. If you're looking for a reading, the best thing to do is send me an email. Um, that way I can have everything in one spot. Um, I tend to give the people that give me the most love. Um, they, they're up higher on the list, okay? For my next segment, I tend to remember them the most. I usually don't have any kind of plan of how I'm going to do it. I go by who... Um, actually likes me you know what I mean so that's how I do my readings um so god bless and thank you very much